Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be organizing my week. If this is your very first time seeing my planner, this is my Tom Liney planner, which is the one book that I use to organize my entire life. I have four different planners within my system and they are all within this one book. And we're gonna start off by planning in my weekly hourly section. So this is a section where I will time block my day and basically look at everything that's coming up for the week and decide what hour, what time I am going to do certain things. So what I am doing right now is actually back planning. Today is Saturday, but I am looking at everything that I have already accomplished throughout the week and just updating my planner before we move on to the next week. So I'm adding in all of the different things that I have already filmed and all of the things that I did throughout the day, including the workouts that I completed. And I'm also going to flip over to my monthly overview page because that is where I have been tracking my habits. I have these monthly habit tracking stickers and this is where I am able to just highlight what habits I have done throughout this week. I am really loving this system so far because I am easily able to see what habits I completed, what habits I did not complete, and I can get better throughout the month instead of waiting to the end of the month and realizing that I didn't do as well with a particular habit that I would have liked. So after I have updated my habit tracker, then we're gonna move over to my monthly page because this is where I can see everything that's coming up for the very next week and I'm I'm going to use this calendar in order to help me to plan my next week. So we're gonna start off by adding in all of the dates at the very top across my entire planner. My planner is undated, so I do just easily write in the dates. This is something that I actually don't mind doing because I love having an undated planner. And it's mainly because sometimes if I'm having a bad week, I might end up skipping a week in my planner just because I'm really busy or I just didn't have time to set it up. And this way I don't lose any pages because they are undated and I can always just add in the dates of the current week I am working on. I'm also pulling out some functional stickers. These are all stickers that I have created. They are available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I love using functional stickers and I am going to be doing a video this week on how my functional stickers really do help me plan more effectively and so i use functional stickers in a variety of ways in order to get help me with my attention and really focus in on different things that i am doing within my planner and i am going to talk about that more in the video that's coming up later this week so we're going to be starting off on my sidebar on my sidebar i am been using this section as one really long to-do list now this section will change from week to week but for the past two weeks i have been having an extensive to-do list of just different things that i need to complete for work for my personal life for church it's a variety of things that i need to do and so just using my sidebar as kind of like a brain dump of all of the different things that I need to do throughout the week has been super helpful so I don't lose anything. After I have finished on my sidebar, then we are going to actually start to plan the week. I always start off with all of my appointments and my routines throughout the week. So I do have a client meeting coming up this Monday at 12. And then I am also going to add in my AM routine and I usually will eat breakfast around this time as well. It may not be exactly at eight o'clock, but I have been tracking it toward the top of my planner. And that's because I don't start working until 9 a.m. and this is the time that I am usually completing my morning routine. This is when I would work out. I'm going to check in with my faith planner, my budget planner. I'm going to do a little bit of reading and I'm going to eat breakfast. So all of that happens between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and it's the exact same routine pretty much every morning. So I just write in that it's an a.m. routine because I know it's going to be the exact same things that I'm going to do and I don't have to write them in every single day. 
Another thing that I have been doing is adding in way more detail into my planner. Now, I don't know if this has happened to you, but put it in the comments if this is something that has happened to you in the past. But it's something that I have noticed with my planning. I would plan out my entire week within my planner and leave myself a lot of white space. Now, in my mind, I was leaving myself a lot of white space so that I could plan as I go. I would be able to plan the very next day, the night before, and then my plans would be way more realistic. But what has actually been happening is that I just have a lot of white space in my planner because I never was planning the night before for the very next day. And I just would end up leaving it empty or end up doing a bunch of other things because I had not fully actually planned out in my planner. So what I've been doing instead is actually adding in all of the details that I need to add before the week starts. So anything I could possibly think of, I will add it in. And this has been way more helpful because as you can see, even at the beginning of this video, I usually will end up back planning if I don't write in every single thing that I actually would like to do for that day out of fear that I won't have enough space to write in more things. So I realized that I just need to add in all of the plans and if things change, I can change them as I need to. I can use my red pen, I can use whiteout, or I can just replan my day in my daily planner, but not writing in the plans at all is not helping me actually plan more effectively. It's actually hindering my planning because I don't have everything listed and then I would end up doing other things instead of what I actually wanted to do for that particular day. So now I'm just gonna finish filling out the rest of the week. I have an Organize You class on this upcoming Thursday. It's gonna be a planning class that we're going to do on Zoom for the membership. And I also have a movie night on Friday, a couple of uh, church member meetings on Saturday, and then of course, church on Sunday. So I'm writing all of that out. And after that is done, we will be done with my weekly planner. Now I usually will stop the video here but today I did decide to also give you all a look into my to-do planner. There are two planners that I will set up every single Sunday. I set up my weekly hourly planner with you all and then I also set up my to-do planner. Now my to-do planner is mainly the one that I use for like all of my to-dos for work, for social media and so that's how I have been using this planner and I don't use many stickers in this one I just usually will write in it which is why I don't usually share it because I don't feel like it's as pretty it's a dashboard style planner and mainly I'm just dropping in a bunch of things that I need to do for work but I also have been adding in church things in here as well which is why I switched the name from my work planner to my to do planner. So let's talk a little bit about how I use this planner and why I am using it the way that I am currently using it. First, this is my dashboard planner and this is where I am mainly keeping up with all of my social media and additional to do's. So on the left side of the page, I will keep track of my supplies, the clients that I need to meet up with, the other things that I need to do across all of the different things that I have to do, personal or church related or business related and what's coming up next week. And then on the right side of the page, I will add in mainly all of the things that I need to do for social media. And I used to have a separate work planner and church planner. And sometimes I will do that just depending on the month and how much I have to do. But when I have a lot going on across, sometimes I want to see everything in one spot. I want to see it all in one planner. And when that's the case, I will make it a to-do planner and I will keep up with all of my to-dos, whether they are for church or the organized money or personal life. I will keep it all 
in one section. So I'm mainly using this one for my church to do's and my work to do's. I'm keeping up with all of the different things that I want to post on social media so I can make sure I film, stay ahead, and anything that I need to do for brands, I will add on here as well. And then I, on the left side, I am also going to keep up with my church to-dos and things that I have to do for my church. Now, what's in my church section, you may be thinking. Right now, I am keeping just blank paper in my church section. So it's just lined paper in that section so that I can keep up with the meetings that we have and take notes from all of those different meetings. But anytime it becomes a to-do, something that I need to complete, I will transfer it from my church section, from the meeting notes to this planner. This is the way that I am able to stay on top of both. So in case this is your very first video, I'll tell you a little bit about how I flow and my planner routine throughout the week. On Sunday, I will set up my hourly planner, which we just set up for my schedule and my to-do planner, which is the dashboard planner that you see in front of you. I set these two up every single Sunday. On Tuesday, I will set up my budget planner. My budget planner is where I will set up for my paycheck budget and plan out my money for the upcoming week. And then I also have my faith planner. My faith planner is where I will just plan on a daily basis and that's where I'm going to do my daily Bible study, my daily devotional, and I just kind of get to stay on top of my faith life and that is how i am currently using all four of my planners i do have some additional sections for my reading and for my church but that is just me keeping up with notes they are not actual planners within my system right now both of those sections just have line pages to help me as i go and i am reading different things now i thought i was done and i was putting up all of the stickers until i realized that i did not add the weather into my schedule planner. I love to add the weather because it lets me know how to be prepared throughout the week. So I'm checking the weather app right now and I realize that it's going to be sunny Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then it's going to rain for the rest of the week. So that's going to help me be prepared and make sure that I have an umbrella in my car. And that will be it for this plan with me. I hope that this one has helped you. Let me know in the comments how you're doing with your planner and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.